Don't these donuts look yummy? Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make them. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Before we dive into the donut making, I wanted to share that this video is part of the Fake Sweets collab and there's so much inspo on this playlist and I wanted to give a special thanks to the host, Tammy from Happiness Created, Kiki from Kiki DIYs, and the guest host is Tammy from The Rusted Willow. Please check out the links below to see all the fun. Now, I bought this donut for um, scientific purposes, of course, <laughs> So, but seriously, I needed to get a good idea of a donut size and the color and all of that, so I took some pictures so I could reference them later, and I was looking at the fry line and all that just to think of how I could recreate this. Now, to make the donuts, you're going to need some air dry clay. I am using Model Magic. I got mine at Hobby Lobby in a big container, and you can find it also on Amazon and sometimes at the Dollar Tree, but it won't necessarily be white. Actually, I've never seen white Model Magic at Dollar Tree. It's easy enough to paint, but you just have to be extra careful because whatever color you use, you don't want it to show through um, whatever you're making. So, for making donuts, I'm less concerned with the white clay showing through than like if it was blue or something like that. But you do need to condition the clay and, or, or just like warm it up. That's what conditioning it means. But you just work with it by squishing it, pulling it, kneading it, and stuff like that. I had stored this clay in a Dollar Tree plastic container. And honestly, it's not airtight. And my Model Magic felt like less pliable than like fresh Model Magic. So you can make your donuts. Um, so anyway, so keep that in mind. If you use Model Magic and you like open it up, make sure it's like an airtight container. So you can make your donuts actual like life size, or you can make them like the mini ones, like the Hostess powdered donuts. Um, you just roll it into a ball, but don't try to make it like a perfect ball. It's cause it's, it needs to be kind of a flat ball. And then to create the hole, you just kind of poke your finger in the middle and press it until it goes, you know, like pretty much all the way through and then push on the other side, push it kind of back in and kind of smooth it out. So it looks like a real donut. Now I made one big donut and then I saw, I was like, well, the model magic seems kind of compromised. And so I thought, I'm not going to put it back. So just go ahead and make some like small donuts. And that's what I did. And you're basically just going to do the same thing. Roll the clay into a ball, kind of a flat ball and make the hole in the center. And you basically just shape it until it looks like a donut. And as you can see, the hole in the smaller donut here, it's bigger. And I adjust it later, but you just kind of work with it until it looks how you want. You know, trying to make it look like a real life donut, I guess. You can paint them wet or dry. I did let mine dry overnight, but Model Magic takes longer to harden or cure. Like even now, several days later, they still can be kind of molded a little bit and pushed in, but I gave them an all over coat with antique white. And you definitely don't want stark white because <laughs> that's not how donuts look, right? So I painted all the donuts and because I know how the finished product turns out, I did it, if I did it again, I'd probably add some like starlight gold to it because, well, I'll explain why in just a minute. Now the trickier part is to get the, like just the right color for the main color of the donut. So I used my scientific picks from earlier and I mixed some paints together. And I thought starlight gold was a good, you know, color to start with and I add some territorial beige. I added an orange color, light yellow, and as you can see, I'm referring to the pick, seeing if I need to lighten it up or adjust it at all, and I added some Mod Podge to help it look shiny, but <laughs> I accidentally used the matte kind, so that didn't really, you know, work out like I wanted to, but I correct it later. And when you start painting, remember, it's not supposed to be perfect. You want an almost uneven layer of paint, and you don't want to use too much paint. So kind of do an almost like dry brush technique, because you can always go back more and add more later but it's hard to take paint off if you put, put too much on. So donuts typically are fried and when they're put in the donut, like, you know, in the grease or whatever, it only goes like halfway and it kind of bounces up a little bit. And then when they flip it over, same thing. It only goes in about like a little less than halfway. So you're going to have a fry line all the way around. And when you paint on the main donut color, you will not want to paint the whole donut because you want to leave a ring around the donut that is that antique white color showing through to create your fry line. And this is where I thought I should have maybe added some of the starlight gold to the antique linen color because I wanted it or I thought it maybe needed to be a little bit more yellow brownish, you know, but, but anyway, because I kind of felt like it was a little too bright, I tried to go back in and mix some of the main donut color with some of the antique white. And I tried to kind of 
blend the colors to make it a little less pronounced. You know, just kind of dragging that little sponge brush thing that I got, just kind of dragging it around the center of that to make that fry line more pronounced, but not so much pronounced. You know what I mean? Kind of trying to blend those colors in. For the glaze or to make them look shiny, I gave them a coat of gloss Mod Podge. And it's probably just me, but I look at stuff I made and I think, oh man, I should have tried this or that. So the gloss turned out a bit too shiny in my opinion. And I was thinking, well, what if I'd done like a really thin layer of gloss Mod Podge on one of those mats I use for painting and then kind of let it dry and see if I could flake it up a little bit and use that for like the glaze. You know what I'm trying to say? So if you try that idea, <laughs> let me know because I would just love to see how it turns out and I'll link up my other videos in the corner in case you want to check out some of the other faux food um, video that I have. I only have one right now but you know I'm, I'm gonna do more. <laughs> now that you know how to make fake donuts let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm having a lot of fun trying to make faux food and I hope you enjoy it too and don't forget if you do it always helps my channel if you give me a thumbs up and if you want to follow me on social media like here on YouTube or over on Instagram. My handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!